the best test to do if you're not sure whether you're pregnant or whether you've miscarried is actually a blood test for HCG. We call it the serum HCG test and actually tells you if your HCG levels are rising or dropping. Now your HCG is also known as the human chorionic gonadotrophin, which is secreted by the placenta during pregnancy and helps to maintain pregnancy. Your blood HCG test should correspond usually to the number of weeks that you're pregnant. So if your levels are too low, it could be that the pregnancy is failing or you might have an ectopic pregnancy or it might be too early to do the test. Maybe you're one to two weeks pregnant and you're doing the test earlier than you should do. So here is a list of HCG levels that you should expect for the corresponding weeks of pregnancy. So for example, you're four weeks pregnant, you do a blood test and your levels are 620. If you do another blood test 48 hours later, your levels might be 1,400. So with blood tests, you'd expect the levels to double in a viable pregnancy within that 48 hour period. Or every 48 hours, I would expect your blood test for ACG levels to be doubling, which means that you've got a viable pregnancy. However, if you're having a miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy, you do a blood test and it's 420, you check it 48 hours later and it's say 500, then it's unlikely that that's a viable pregnancy. Or you do the blood test 48 hours later and it's 300, that tells you that the pregnancy is actually failing and is unlikely to go on to be a successful pregnancy. You can see from the list that ACG blood tests can go from its tens, tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands and this depends on how many weeks pregnant you are. So even if you have a miscarriage, you know, your levels might gradually drop, not straight to pre-pregnancy levels. In some women, they might drop by 50% every 14 hours. In other women, it might take 50% fall within seven days of losing a pregnancy. So while a urine ACG test just looks for whether you're positive or negative in terms of pregnancy or that presence of a line or absence of a line, the blood test will actually look at the values and the numbers that tells you if you're having a viable pregnancy or if you've actually miscarried. So if in doubt you're doing a urine test and this has been four weeks later or even sometimes six weeks later, you're still positive, you can always go for a blood test where you can look at the levels. If, you're, if you do a blood test and the level is 80 and this is four weeks down the line, then you know you're not pregnant. However, if you do a blood test and the levels are say 500 and you check it again 48 hours later and it goes up to 1,200, then you know that, oh yes, this is pregnancy. In some cases, you might also want to confirm with an ultrasound. So if you're more than six weeks pregnant, then an ultrasound will obviously show the beating heart of the fetus. Less than six weeks, an ultrasound is not so reliable because the heart has not really developed yet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any pregnancy related questions, please feel free to ask.